Okay, 6.7. Annuities. This lesson is on annuity. What is an annuity? Well, it's a series of equal deposits or payments made at equal time intervals. So we previously looked at compound interest, but we we're only looking at it from the point of where you put in money once and then you look at how much uh, that money grows over time or how much you end up owing back over time. Uh, in an annuity, we talk about how we make a payment at a regular time interval. So we're not making just a one-time principal amount. We're, we're paying a fixed amount of money uh, at regular intervals. So something like an example would be something like paying a car loan, a monthly car loan. So every month you're making uh, payments on this car loan. So that would be an example of an annuity. Okay, so uh, calc uh, so we have a formula for an annuity, and uh, I'm just going to skip down here for a moment. The annuity formula is A, which is our future amount that hasn't changed. So it's the same thing as future amount and compound interest. Uh, equals, uh, and we introduce a new variable, R, capital R, not a small one, a capital one, a big one, times square bracket, then a round bracket, 1 plus I to the exponent N, minus one, close the square bracket, all divided by uh, I. Okay. And R stands for the regular payment. So how much money is going to be paying back this loan or uh, putting into an investment? at a regular interval, it could be every week, or every month, or every year, uh, regular payment, okay? I is still our interest rate, and how we find I is the same way as we find I in compound interest. And N is our number of, of compound periods. So that's also uh, still the same N that we're, we've seen previously. Okay, so let's look at an example. Example one, you deposit $1,000 at the end of each year into an account that pays 6% interest compounded annually. How much money will be in the account after five years? So the, we, instead of depositing something once, we deposit it regularly. So the regular intervals every year. So $1,000 at the end of each year. So my R is going to be $1,000. We're looking at compounding it every year for five years, so n is equal to five. And my interest rate is 6% compounded every year, so 6% is a decimal, 0 0.06. And I don't have to divide it because it's compounded annually, okay? So my, my future value, the value of this annuity, how much money will this, how much will this amount of money grow over five years with my interest? With those regular payments every year, this is what we're calculating. Okay, so following the formula, one thousand times one plus zero point zero six to the power of five, in round brackets, then minus one, close the square brackets, all of that divided by zero point zero six. Okay, now remember. This is $1,000 in the account every five years. So without any interest at all, it's just 1,000 times five, we would have $5,000. So we expect the final amount to be a number bigger than 5,000 because we have interest. Okay, so we put this into a calculator, you can evaluate it. So if you do, do the brackets first, so 1.06 to the power of five minus one, you're gonna get a long, you're gonna get a number. Okay, that number is gonna be a long decimal, but keep it in your calculator. Don't write it down around it. Just keep it in your calculator, multiply it by a thousand, and then divide that result by 0 0.06. And then after you divide by 0 0.06, you can round your answer. So here I'll have $5,637. Then I get 09296, long decimal, but if I round the decimal to just nine cents, that would be my future amount. Okay. So that's my that's how much is in the account after five years. So after five years, uh, the account has five thousand six hundred and thirty-seven dollars and nine cents. 
What if I asked how much interest was earned over that time? Well, the amount of interest earned is just the total amount in the account minus the money you put in. So you put in $1,000 every year for five years. So the difference between 5000 and the 5600 is just a $637.09. That's how much interest we've earned over five years. And let's look at a different example in a different way. Johnny has been putting $100 into his savings account at the end of every month since the start of grade 9. How much money will he have when he goes away to university in four years if the account pays 4% interest every year compounded monthly? So this time we're looking at a regular payment of $100, okay? And it's, gonna, it's happening every month for four years. So how many compounding periods is that? Well, if it's four years times the number of compounded periods every year, so it's 12, it's monthly. So four times 12 is 48. So 48 compounding periods. What's our interest rate? So I, so the interest rate is 4% a year, so decimals 0 0.04, but it's compounded monthly, so I have to divide by 12. Okay, so um, when I calculate my future value, okay, so how much will he have when he goes away to university? So, uh, just uh, so the future amount is my annuity, right? It's a regular payment, one hundred dollars every month, times bracket one plus zero point zero four over twelve, close the round bracket to the power of n, which is forty eight minus one. Close the square bracket and divide that by uh, 0 0.04 over 12. Okay, so I know when you do 0 0.04 over 12 in the calculator, that's your I value, okay, like your I, that, that's going to give you a long decimal. So don't write down a long decimal, just keep it as 0 0.04 over 12, then add whatever you get in the calculator, add 1 to it. Okay, then after you add 1, take that to the power of 48, then subtract 1, and then multiply whatever number that is in the end by 100 and then divide by 0 0.04 over 12. So keep the 0 0.04 over 12 in your calculator. Don't round that number. Oh, you can only round the final answer, okay? So if I do 0 0.04 divided by 12, you're gonna get 0 0.0033333. You add one, take it to the exponent 48, minus one, multiply by 100, okay? So the top result ends up being 17.319867. So you don't wanna round that number, right? And then you divide that by 0 0.04 over 12, put, put brackets around that in your calculator. And then the result you should get, and you should try this as you're doing this, if you're watching this video, or after you write down the notes. So the number, of this, this is the number. Sorry for the interruption. Ronaldo, please pick up line 101, please. Ronaldo, please pick up line 101. Okay, and so only after the final answer, I round the two last two decimal places to 96 cents. So $5,195.96. Okay, compare that to just without interest, it's $100 every month, 48 months is 4,800. So with interest, you earn a little bit of extra money in there. Okay, so the final number is 5195.